Hi, this is Ethan Shaw, also known as Brother Shaw. I'm a uh, steel guitarist and band leader in, based in Central Texas. I recently made a video where I was talking about what lap steel you might want to buy if you're just trying to get into it for real cheap and try out the lap steel. And I had a great response to that. I really appreciate y'all who checked that out. Um, and But it also had a lot of people ask me some questions about some other things that are related to that. So the main one was, what tuning should I use? And this is a big thing when you play steel guitar because there's all kinds of tunings you can use. Uh, it's almost infinite possibilities. So there's a few ones that are real easy to start out with and I wanted to show you what those are. And I wanted to uh, talk about like why you would wanna use these different tunings. So the first one we're going to talk about is open D tuning. Now, open D tuning is really a, a slide guitar tuning originally. Um, you can real easily tune to it on a guitar from a regular set of strings. So what it is from high to low is D, A, F sharp, D, A, D. This is a great tuning for if you're trying to play blues or rock and you want to be able to play some rhythm with it because you have this low power chord. This is also the tuning you want to use if you're trying to do this stuff. So, if you're trying to do rock or blues, if you want a real easy transition from guitar, that's a great one to start with. The second tuning we're going to talk about is also derived from a uh, slide guitar tuning. Now with this one, it's also the main tuning on dobro. So this is how I have my dobro tuned. So I'm going to show you it on dobro so you can imagine it's a steel guitar playing this, but you'll get the idea. This one, from high to low, we're going to go D, B, G, D, B, and G. Now, a lot of the slide guitar players, they'll do D, B, G, D, and then G, and then a low D. That's good if you're trying to play rhythm guitar also while you're playing steel. So, it doesn't matter on the bottom, this is what it sounds like on the top. Now, something that's nice about this is you have a fifth on top, that makes it a little bit easier to play melody on these top strings. Um, also, with this, there's a lot of material that's written for dobro that you can just translate to steel guitar. So, that's another option. That's the open G tuning. Now, the last tuning we're going to talk about is the one you're going to want to play, probably, when you're just starting out, if you're trying to play Western Swing, if you're trying to play Honky Tonk music, the early Honky Tonk, if you're trying to play most Hawaiian music. Now one thing I forgot to say with the G tuning is you can also tune that up one whole step to A. That uh, tuning, which is just two A triads stacked on top of each other, A, C sharp, E, A, C sharp, E, that's one of the most popular tunings in early Hawaiian music. So there are uh, instructional materials available for that, but most of them are pretty old. With open D tuning, you can tune that up a whole step to an open E tuning. Um, it's just another option, it's your preference. But this one, the C6, this one is going to be E, C, A, G, E, C. Now, the nice thing that's in this tuning is you have that sixth 
note of the chord. So that means in the key of C, it's C, D, E, F, G, A. A is the sixth note in the scale. That's what makes it the sixth. So you have this real tight voicing between the A and the G. It's only a whole step. That means you can get these real lush chords This could sound real Hawaiian. Western swing. All that jazzy type of stuff is so much easier to play it when you have that sixth in there because you're not having to jump all over the neck when you're doing these little jazz lines and uh, you're just doing straight honky tonk it's really nice so the nice thing about C6 too is there's a lot of instructional material available for it so if you just have a six string lap steel, if you're trying to play jazz, if you're trying to play Western Swing or Hawaiian, I highly recommend using the C6 to start out. You can also, C6 is real versatile. You can use this to play rock or blues. <laughs> You also have a minor, uh, relative minor chord that's part of your open chord. So C6 chord is also the exact same chord as an A minor 7. So when you start from the, from the A, it's a minor chord you have there, right there. C6 real versatile. Now, some people might have watched some of my other videos and they will say, well, how come the main tuning you play is A6? Well, that's because most of the time I'm playing eight string steels. With an eight string steel guitar, you the top string on the A6 tuning is still an E string. So that means you have the fifth on top, but you need these extra strings that are the low strings to be able to have the root down at the bottom, which is nice. So A6 tuning, yes, that on A string steel guitar is my favorite tuning. That's what most of the Western Swing guys, in, especially in Texas, used back in the day. Um, but we will get into that in a different video. I'll talk about A string steel guitar tunings later on. For now, we're talking about six string steel guitar tunings. I highly recommend C6 for most things, but if all you want to do is make it sound real bluesy, then open D's great, open G's great. Anyway, I hope this helped you out. There's a lot more tunings that are great tunings. I'll talk about those in later videos. Uh, I'm just trying to help y'all get started and I appreciate you spending this time to watch this if you like it Please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel because I will definitely Try to post more things to help y'all out do some more lessons and also post more uh, Performance videos where you can get to see the steel guitar get played. So thank y'all. I hope you have a good one